Hello guys, back to tutorial again. Like last time we implemented our back button, this time we're going to implement our shuffle button. So let's begin. First I'm going to create a function called shuffle. This function it will contain code for shuffling. Okay. It will contain actually the normally normal code like we had in our play button or even the next uh, next button. The only the difference is the index value. The index value here is the random numbers. We will generate the random number using in random function. So let's begin. So let arc is equal to arc is going to be a variable uh, int dot random. Let's select second one. It will, uh, the index will be starting from zero, and it will end at array dot count minus one. That is the maximum count of the array minus one and I'm going to copy the same code here for when I to play the uh, our audio player I'm going to paste here only the change here is the index I'm going to change the index is the random number arc arc okay now it's time to implement our shuffle block before we begin I will tell you one thing when you also click on the shuffle button we need to shuffle when he clicks on it again we need to stop shuffling we need to go for a normal mode in order to do that we need to use the toggling function to this button for that I will create a variable of type uh, boolean that be where shuffle where shuffle is equal to in the beginning I will set it as a false like just consider it as a switch now the switch is off and I will create also one more variable yes it will take a value 1 in the beginning I will tell you later why we are using this one oh, so shuffle okay now here I will set the shuffle shuffle is equal to complement of shuffle uh, we need to add a shuff, uh, self in, uh, in front of this one because this one instead of close here okay now when you sir click on this one now you sir click on the shuffle button uh, it's like uh, making switch on before switch was, switch was off the shuffle will become true here shuffle will become true so uh, if shuffle that means if shuffle is true we will execute some function that is we will do shuffling okay and we will also set our yes value as uh, zero yeah s is equal to zero before s was one now s is equal to zero and else note that s is equal to zero when shuffle shuffling is shuffle button is on or else s is equal to one okay here it clear said one now we need to implement this shuffle function everywhere in our button like in back button next button everywhere and do not forget to add audio player did finish playing player is, going, player, is, player is going to be player and successfully true now let's go to back button and here we will check if s is equal to zero that means the shuffle button is on If s is equal to zero, we will invoke the shuffle but shuffle function here. Okay. Else, we will go for normal mode. Okay. Now, in next button, we'll check if s is equal to zero.
okay if s is equal to 0 we'll go for shuffle or else normal way okay we need to implement this one in audio player did finishing also we'll check here if s is equal to 0 sorry then we are going we're going to call the shuffle button or else we are going to call our normal uh, play method that is intel function okay it's done now let's send the program I'm going to click next you can see this one is actually normal mode fader alone dark side it will play like this so I'm go, uh, coming back now I'm clicking shuffle button if I click next see the songs are actually shuff getting shuffled so the shuffle button is actually working in next and back mode so guys thanks for watching we'll continue in next video